After a two hour trip today, the battleship New Jersey is docked and finally back home at the Camden waterfront. For the past three months, the historic ship underwent repairs. It was the first time it was dry docked in 35 years. Now, much of the work was done at the Philadelphia Navy Yard. The ship left that location for some final touch ups in Paulsboro before the final leg this afternoon came back to Camden. New Jersey reporter Ryan Hughes hopped on board for the historic mini voyage. Cruising six miles up the Delaware River, the battleship New Jersey on the fourth and final leg of its 12 week dry dock journey. The ship's CEO calls it a once in a generation experience. She's in the best shape she's been in since she left the active service in the late 80s. So uh, we're really proud to finally uh, be heading home back to Camden. CBS News Philadelphia hopped on board as the Big J left the Paulsboro Marine Terminal Thursday morning. It was led by the Coast Guard and pulled by four tugboats. With the Philly skyline in the distance, the most decorated battleship in the 248 year history of the United States Navy headed home. Even though we're underway by tugs, we're still underway and uh, probably the last time I'll ever get to be on it underway. Ken Kirsch served two years on the USS New Jersey during the Vietnam War. He paused to reflect on this unique experience. It's history, it's heritage. This was part of my life for two years, so it, it's, it's meaningful. With traffic stopped overhead, the battleship New Jersey passed under the Walt Whitman Bridge with about 10 feet to spare. For the past 12 weeks, it underwent extensive maintenance and repairs. A crowd of people welcomed the ship home at the Camden Pier. It's goosebumps, chills, you know, just, it's indescribable. I'm taking two of my buddies that passed away this year with me. And now that the ship is back home, the electricity will be turned back on, and we are told the battleship will reopen to the public in two weeks, just in time for the 4th of July. Reporting in Camden, Ryan Hughes, CBS News, Philadelphia.